Oh yeah. And uh, Lazarus and I just hijacked the seats closest to Tari because we like the cake. We want to be right by, by the birthday cake. <laughs> Wait, looking down at the mug in front of me, it's a little empty. Where's the waiter? Yeah, we got to love birthday parties, whether they be real or virtual there, Miss Stan. And just going through the list, I would just like to say hello to Lady Raven, Miss Stan, Tech OC, and Tom Electric, and Cinesis Channel. You forgot Beanie, Beanie Basha. I did not see him in the list. And Vegas Vic in my channel. As well as Tom Electric and Miss Dan. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. Oh, and I missed something from Kazen. Uh, let's see. As a friend and helpful avatar and a great friend to all of the community, I would like to, on behalf of the Phoenix Republic, this day to tell you happy birthday. And I wish to extend an honorary citizenship to the Phoenix Republic for representing and upholding what we truly believe should be what an avatar in this world is all about. Happy birthday. Now I'd like to go around the room to all of Tari's friends and family. Let us hear what Tari means to you. And Tari was weeping over such a great speech. Yes, it was interesting. Wait, we missed Zeke singing uh, Happy Birthday? Zeke actually sang Tari Happy Birthday in Mumble this morning. Yes, he did. He even told me to go ahead and record it, but he sang it before I could click the buttons and get everything all set. So I actually missed it, but I did hear it. And of course, everybody's getting a zing in here and there on Duke Ezekiel Cooper at the moment. And he's not here to he recap at the moment. Times. Yeah, that's okay. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you, Lady Raven. It's always a pleasure. We have fun what we're doing here. Remember, five, several short minutes, not exactly five, sometime soon during this broadcast, we're going to give away this golden oracle coin that I'm holding. And you can get it if you are the ninth caller to Lazarus whenever he says, hey, come give us the phrase that pays. And the phrase that pays for tonight's broadcast is Shroud of the Avatar, making magic happen. Just a heads up, we're going to be giving away a couple of things here shortly for anybody who's interested. Alrighty. And unfortunately, I can't get back into that other room, so you're going to have to come and join me.
And now we've got more jokes about the uh, Woodrow Beefcake's pot. Yeah, as I noticed, that birthday cake is actually shedding quite a bit of light as it gets a little darker. But still nothing compared to what it used to. And I see Materio has just joined us here in the room. He's Welcome, Materio. You no, know, he's coming into the party. I'm sorry. He just zoned in on Tari right there. And we got Themo Lacus here. Who else is here? Pebo. Alex, a whole bunch of people. There's Matt. Doxa Ohm, I don't know that name. He's wearing a Christmas hat, though. A little shout out into the crowd there. Oh, is that Jack? Don't know what you're talking about. That was me. Yes, it was. Now I hit a camera angle and uh, looked like I was just right on you. I'm really digging some of these other shirt styles that these folks are wearing out here. Oh yeah, I love the fact that there's more variety. And Jack is in there just telling everybody what we're giving away inside the game. So the people inside the game. Apparently uh, Woodrow is making frosting in that pot. That's what he's got there. Must have been him who made the birthday cake. And Bambino. Bambino's arrived. I just saw Hi, that. Hi, Bambino. Bambino's here in the room. What's up? Remember, this is the Golden Oracle coin. We are giving it away today. Oops, I dropped it on my keyboard. This is what it looks like. It is awesome. It is hefty. You could crush small children with this this thing. I'm not going to dance to this. <laughs> oh, what a bummer. Peach Pit. In those uh -oh. crowded, crowded quarters. It's okay. I have, I have more than one. Just a little technical difficulty. And 
with a little luck, I will come right back to the boat this time. Yes, I hit it. Very good. Which way am I looking to get out of here? Try and get away from too much of the crowd there. Let's go see what's going on back downstairs. Well, Kazan is looking for invitations to join him in the hot tub. Who is? Kazan's trying to get into the hot tub, and Amber Rain's trying to figure out who she's going to eat for dinner. Uh oh! And Somebody's she's on the that throne it's here. Be Dinsu. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look like he's sitting there on the John. Now, of course, I'm perplexed here. How to get back downstairs? We do it the easy way. We go swimming. Jump. I hope I'm not going to die when I hit the water, like back out in Axlair. <laughs> Well, you could have also used slash duck to actually put you at the uh, the front stone. You know, I did use that earlier, and that was nice. Instead of going to the very beginning of the scene, it brought me right to the house. I went the easy way to the... I just jumped off the top. So this is the... Tari Silmshire's, uh birthday party. And Tom, the answer to your question is no, it does not. There are a couple of around that. If you zone to your house, that is not going to actually be counting it against the slash zone. So if you were in the party, the party leader goes to his zones to his house, and you can always follow him. That does not count against the slash zone requirement currently. Yeah, nah, it's no fun. Hang on a second. <laughs> 